Epidaurus, Wikipedia Audio Epidaurus was a small city in ancient Greece, on the Argolid Peninsula at the Saronic Gulf. Two modern towns bear the name Epidavros, Palaya Epidavros and Nia Epidavros. Since 2010 they belong to the new municipality of Epidaurus, part of the regional unit of Argolis. The seat of the municipality is the town Ligurio. Epidaurus was independent of Argos and not included in Argolis until the time of the Romans. With its supporting territory, it formed the small territory called Epidoria. Reputed to be founded by or named for the Argolid Epidaurus, and to be the birthplace of Apollo's son Asclepius the Healer, Epidaurus was known for its sanctuary situated about five miles from the town, as well as its theatre, which is once again in use today. The cult of Asclepius at Epidaurus is attested in the 6th century BC, when the older hilltop sanctuary of Apollo Maleatus was no longer spacious enough. The Asclepian at Epidaurus was the most celebrated healing center of the classical world, the place where ill people went in the hope of being cured. To find out the right cure for their ailments, they spent a night in the Inquamiteria, a big sleeping hall. In their dreams, the god himself would advise them what they had to do to regain their health. Within the sanctuary there was a guest house with 160 guest rooms. There are also mineral springs in the vicinity, which may have been used in healing. History Asclepius, the most important healer god of antiquity, brought prosperity to the sanctuary, which in the 4th and 3rd centuries BC embarked on an ambitious building program for enlarging and reconstruction of monumental buildings. Fame and prosperity continued throughout the Hellenistic period. After the destruction of Corinth in 146 BC Lucius Mummius visited the sanctuary and left two dedications there. In 87 BC the sanctuary was looted by the Roman general Sulla. In 74 BC a Roman garrison under Marcus Antonius Creticus had been installed in the city causing a lack of grain. Still, before 67 BC the sanctuary was plundered by pirates. In the 2nd century AD the sanctuary enjoyed a new upsurge under the Romans, but in AD 395 the Goths raided the sanctuary. Even after the introduction of Christianity and the silencing of the oracles, the sanctuary at Epidaurus was still known as late as the mid-5th century, although as a Christian healing center. Asclepio, Epidavros The prosperity brought by the Asclepian enabled Epidaurus to construct civic monuments, including the huge theater that delighted Pausanias for its symmetry and beauty used again today for dramatic performances, the ceremonial Hestia Torion, and a palestra. The ancient theatre of Epidaurus was designed by Polycolatos the Younger in the 4th century BC. The original 34 rows were extended in Roman times by another 21 rows. As is usual for Greek theatres, the view on a lush landscape behind the skein is an integral part of the theatre itself and is not to be obscured. It seats up to 14,000 people. The theatre is admired for its exceptional acoustics, which permit almost perfect intelligibility of unamplified spoken words from the proscenium or SKN to all 14,000 spectators, regardless of their seating. Famously, Tour guides have their groups scattered in the stands and show them how they can easily hear the sound of a match struck at center stage. A 2007 study by Nico F. de Klerk and Cindy de Kaiser of the Georgia Institute of Technology indicates that the astonishing acoustic properties may be the result of the advanced design, the rows of limestone seats filter out low-frequency sounds, such as the murmur of the crowd 
and also amplify the high frequency sounds of the stage. The municipality Epidavros was formed at the 2011 local government reform by the merger of the following two former municipalities, that became municipal units. The municipality has an area of 340.442 km2, the municipal unit 160.604 km2. Stadion Gymnasion Odeon Theater Terms Municipality Gallery